Oh, I woke up fairly early today, so there's no reason for me not to continue the run that I started last night. God, how long did I even go for last night? I managed to go for two hours without dying. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking that up on my phone, and then uh, my brain was like, okay, we're done with the phone. I'm not. Well, yeah, this will probably... Uh, I'll just... Before and maybe after, if I'm feeling uh, particularly like uh, streaming, I will play this after D&D. Because &D. I'll probably be mostly mentally exhausted, so I don't want to be playing anything that requires... Or, well, my throat will also be exhausted, so <clears throat> I won't want to be doing anything that might risk my uh, my poor... My full vocal cords. Lily. <laughs> I should really do vocal warm ups just before I uh, start streaming. I should get into doing stuff like that. But yeah, I believe I left myself off with all the provisions that I need. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna pretend that I. Uh... <sighs> I don't have anything to worry about. Um. So after the fact that I would prefer to have more healing salves. It's fine. <coughs> <coughs> um, my priority right now is to start figuring out where I want to start. I guess I will just go left. Freaking wolves. I'm in no way ready to fight wolves just yet. In fact, considering I don't have skinning, there's no reason to fight them. Not that I'm not wielding an axe, which... Until I get the skill that increases the chance for me to get... Unless I get Hot Master, which will increase the chance of successfully harvesting the pelt by 50%. I don't know... I don't know if that's a flat... Or... I don't know if that's additive or multiplicative. Um, for those who don't know what that means, uh, additive would just mean like it's, you know, a a flat fifty percent, and then you know all the other modifiers are placed on afterwards. Or if it's multiplicative, which means it increases the chance that I had by fifty percent. Like let's say, you know, if you completely fuck up the pallet, you get like a ten percent chance. I don't know if it's, you know. I'm half, I'm half as likely, I'm half as more likely based on what I did, or if I'm just, I, I always have a flat 50% no matter what I do to it, I, no fucking clue. I, uh, I kind of wish that it would tell me. I mean, it doesn't, the game doesn't have a stat for that, does it? There's, isn't there a survival tree? Or a survival, uh. Here, I guess it wouldn't really give me that, but yeah, uh... Yeah, there's no... there's no, uh... There's no harvest chance. I don't think it would show on skinning, but it'd be nice to... have that sort of thing be something I can know. But obviously not. Sorry, I'm a bit stuffed up. I, uh, like I mentioned before, I haven't really been uh, getting very good sleep, so I've been, well, I've also been fatigued, even if you don't count the sleep. So I wanted to get a shower, but obviously uh, that requires me to stand up. And, and some people, are, like, especially my family members, are like, oh yeah, why don't you just uh, take a bath then? I have, uh, I've clunked my head on the, uh, on the side of the tub after getting uh, up and down out of the tub before. So it's, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. And I, I'd rather be unclean than, you know, injured. Because I'm heavy. I'm... If, if the full weight of my body goes onto my head, that is... Plenty of people have died like that. And uh, I'm the kind of person that's really paranoid about that sort of thing. Uh, speaking of paranoia, um, what the hell have these dogs been doing? I am going to set a trap. 
since, yeah, probably going to be aggro pretty fast. Okay, so it took an attack of opportunity, which means I should, yes, be able to just kill it. Nice! Oh, that's two wolves dead. Woo! And there's a new axe. It's damaged. Do I even have an offhand? Yeah, I do. Which I can use to get an extra axe if I uh, find one that's half decent. God, vermin! This is at least about 50, which I will... I guess I'll just use as my primary until it gets the 50% and then I'll switch back. This will be more relevant when I actually have a better axe, so I can be, like, you know, switching between the two when I see the opportunity to. Uh, deer trail. Well, the deer don't sit still, and I don't have a ranged weapon, so this is completely pointless. Let's eat this until I'm satiated. There we go. I'm not going to be picking up bilberries. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking boars. I will always find a way. Or, I, I always find a way, not will always find a way. <laughs> now I can start picking up a handful of sticks. Because, yeah, it would be... If I don't find... If I don't find a camp soon, I will uh, need to set up a campfire myself to get rid of the fatigue. Though, I'm not a mage, so it's not going to be building up especially fast. I guess I'll pick up a cap. Just... Is it eaten raw to reduce intoxication? Yes, it is. Good. Hmm. I should drink this alcohol next time I get to a bit of a hairy comet that doesn't involve something that has a good dodge chance, because... I mean, my accuracy lowered for that is uh, a stupid thing to do. Wolf collides with boar. Okay. Um, what the hell is going on in here? Wolf is knocked back. I, I, at this, literally three different enemy types all fighting each other. Which means they're gonna probably be very likely to aggro super fast. Oh my god, there's animals everywhere. Um. Oh, it's pretty damaged. I, um... I might just be able to kill this for... Ma mainly because I think it's going to be more difficult if I just sit here like this. Oh, it's running here. Yeah. Okay, whoo! I should take skinning and see if I can't get some nice boar meat. I mean, I knew the board me was, you know, a hundred percent chance to get. It's it's the pelt that is a uh, is what's in question. Let's just make some room. So I can make a little campfire. Uh, make it here. Turn it on, and then so absolute clusterfuck going on. Not much left to skin. Can't skin people, unfortunately. It'd be kind of fucked up to do it, but it'd be f <laughs> it'd be funny just to be like, yeah, I'm just gonna skin this guy for no real reason except for because I can. Wait, hey, that's some uh, good eats. That's uh, that's why it takes skinning is just to procure yourself free food. 
I'm wrong, Moose Meat would uh, be like, and Sinewy Meat is uh, bad for you. I mean, I mean, if you're desperate, eat it, but I'm not desperate, and I prefer to keep my immunity high. I didn't actually discover what the point of interest was, I just sort of fought. <laughs> it's not very often that you can uh, kill a boar at uh, such a low level. I mean, it, it was already wounded. It was very wounded, but also, you know. That doesn't undo the fact that it was uh, pretty good to have happen. <laughs> it doesn't lessen the experience. Literally. Oh my god. <gasps> so many enemies on this map. Oh no. Oh, well, neither of us pulled each other in. Or neither of us pulled the other in. Oh, I immediately started him bleeding. Nice. He's not getting up. He, I decapitated him. What are you doing? <laughs> what, the, what the hell are you talking about, man? What do you expect? With what what head? He's not getting back up. What do you mean? Chain belt. If you don't have a waist to speak of, it's not wise to wear this belt over a civil garment. The links have a notable tendency to pin and chafe. Lock chance, buck recovery, fumble chance reduced, and noise produced. It's marginal upgrade versus what I currently have. Maybe? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna carry it with me but not actually equip it because it's kind of already damaged. Hmm. And this is a random sash. Alright, you got anything. So we've got our vitality. This is probably where it's going to be for the foreseeable future, if not forever. But that means we can take austerity, among other things. Um, hmm. Perception. I do like the early uh, sight range increase, plus it offsets. It offsets the penalty for having heavier helms. Yes, I did really want to find the campsite so I didn't have to prioritize keeping sticks in my inventory. When I need them for, like, fatigue, I'll just throw down a bunch of stuff, pick it up, and then use a... Ooh, ooh, or, <laughs> idiot! Fox! Can't exactly kill it for its pelt, but... It's nice to see. Outside of being an archer, there's not really a good way to uh, sneak up on enemies to fight them in melee, or at least don't like, always run away like rabbits and foxes. It's not like it's easy to know where one is and then preemptively put a trap in its path as you run it down. There's a lot of enemies that really shouldn't know where traps are, or what a trap even is. Avoid them. Which is a bit of a minor complaint, but you know what can you, what can you do? The hell? Oh god, yeah, that could have just immediately charged me and I would have died. So I was a bit confused at what was going on. Oh, that literally. Oh yeah, because two turns pass. Basically, the turn you enter the map, and then a secondary turn. So you know you can't abuse like running in and out of the map. Taking these pine caps. I did accidentally cook my. Uh, yeah, other pine cap, which means it, it's useless for reducing intoxication. Oh, this is a wool den, which means it's it's just death. Can't even really kite ghouls to other enemies because they throw shit at you. He says as he proceeds to. Uh, do exactly what he just said he shouldn't do. Oh, 
Okay, he switched targets. Good, 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 good. Or he just started running away from me. I don't really understand where the hell the Borg went. Alright, well this is just a regular ghoul, so... I'm just gonna murder it. And... Yeah, no. Is there... No, there's no special ghoul thing. At least not yet, anyways. I'm surprised that Boar let me leave. Or let me live, as the case may be. I'm gonna swing back to grab that. Oh. God, there's a... whole smorgasbord of enemies fighting each other. We can't go two feet without stumbling over enemies that have already started fighting. It's a bit dark, so it's kind of hard to see. I wish Wolves wouldn't chase me this damn far, but what can you do? Oh, this is one of them. Um, I'm just gonna use this trap so I don't have to worry. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well, it started running away, so that's good enough. Let's salvage a pelt this damage. You know what? Since I have the trap, I may as well. May as well have the wolf come to me. I mean, I... Ooh, wolf pelt. Um, can I actually fit that in my inventory? Um, if I eat this pine cap, I can. Nice. But yeah, um... I guess I just have a trap on this map. <coughs> That's a lot of pain. Oh, it's fine. Hmm. I was sensible I'd break that trap. So it didn't, you know, end up coming to bite me, but I'm just gonna leave it there. As long as you can fight animals and you have skin and uh, you can really get by. Is this a leprosarium? It appears to be. Let's take the shovel. The shovel doesn't have a... <coughs> doesn't have a damage type, but it is still useful for... It's still useful for... Um... Like breaking things. Okay, I really don't need more bandages. Um, so the question, what can I give up? Let's get rid of this belt. I think the chain belt is slightly better. Probably... Is this better? Probably not at this point. I'm not gonna take it with me either. If I found this earlier, I uh, would have worn it for quite some time. Okay, this is a reason to use this. I don't know if smacking inanimate objects actually takes their ability, but on the up chance it does. I've read this book before, so I'm just going to take the small amount of experience it gives me and leave it alone. 
Surgeon's Toolkit, do I want to get rid of the Wolf Pelt for that? Honestly, yeah. And the Staff Book 2, that's worth 200, so I will keep it. Um, I probably don't need this many bandages. Um... Mm, leeches can go. The, the pain from them is actually kind of horrendous at this point. Okay, not bad. I could have also used the space that the book is currently taking up, but I'd rather not. I'll call points more. These are empty. Otherwise, I would have been able to see what they were. Oh my. I don't know if I. <sighs> I don't know if I noticed that the other times I came here, but yeah, it's just a pit of corpses. I like how it's a place to rest. I'm pretty sure uh, that is a horrible place to, place to rest. It depends how old the corpses is, but that are how old they are. But if they're still rotting to the point where flies and maggots are still, you know, writhing around, it's probably it's probably uh, the diseases are probably uh, potentially still alive in the maybe not the corpses themselves but um, the flies and maggots could probably still give you the disease it, it depends if they uh, can be transferred via a dead body that's the thing depending on the thing that killed them it, uh, it, it changes how long the, the disease in question can survive outside of the body. I believe it's called, um, like a necrosis vector. Like if, if, if a amount of corpse can still spread the disease. Good god, what the hell happened here? All I know is this wolf is dead. Yeah, that's another pelt that I'm not going to be picking up. Hmm. Just eat this now if I just throw out a bunch of stuff. Get a few sticks. But yeah, I like how the game gives you the um It changes the sprite of whatever you skinned when you successfully skin it. Like the dog's now or the wolf is now completely naked without its fur. It's kind of uh gross. But if I was, um, if I had a free inventory, yo, what's up? If I had a free inventory, I could have, uh, brought these wolf pelts with me. Or, wolf pelt, singular. Hey, how's it going? Oh, God, I've been pinged from fighting wolf. Got a full water skin. I need to find water soon. Oh, we're just gonna somewhere so I just go back to town. Yeah, same thing here. My, uh. Mine's still like five hours away at least. So I got nothing else better to do but to play this. Why? Well, I mean, God, I wish I had multiple sessions a day. That would be... That would be the best. Horizon only having one session a week. Can I skin this hedgehog? He can! For tiny little meat morsels. Oh, that sounds... That sounds great. <gasps> the 
Remind me to just skin these hedgehogs. Oh, the rotten, yeah. If something dies to poison, it's meat rots. Hmm. I had a bow I could really kill all of these. Um. I'm gonna try to lead them away to the point where they uh, start splitting up. So if I can get them one on one. I have enough uh, I have enough intoxication removal to kill them all. Or what I can do is um... Okay, well this worked kind of. What I wanna do is I want to get rid of the hive because otherwise it'll keep summoning. I mean, Nicholas Cage was uh, the originator of that line. Not the bees. Ah! <laughs> I, I tried watching that movie, and like halfway through it, I was just like, ah, I'm going to die. And that's not, that was not my reaction to the movie. That's uh, <laughs> that's just me saying that about the game. Okay, so first of all, pain, uh, herbal extract, um, intoxication, it's going to be using this, and uh, I've already got some pain release, so I don't need to drink any alcohol. Uh, I don't really have anything else to worry about, so let's just wait. Oh, I got, I got my injuries, obviously. There we go. And then they all respawn, because obviously that's how the game works. Or how these enemies work. Oh, I can't actually hit from here. Dang it. Ah. This is probably super dangerous for me to be doing. Oh, there's wolves! Oh, <laughs> you stupid wolves. Get wrecked. Goodbye. They're chasing me over fighting the bees. And now they're running away, because, you know. What are they gonna do? Bite the bees? I don't. <clears throat> and yeah, that's. Probably something I can finish off. And unless I get the pelt, yeah, it's gonna be rotten meat. Did I really hit this thing for me? I really can't. Oh, he's summoned another one. Okay, I can get rid of this now. Okay, it's over. It's just getting rid of these. <sighs> Gotta use my blue fighting essence. Okay, that was uh, that was rough. Oh, I should have done this in another order. Drink the alcohol, just get rid of it. Oh. And it was all for experience. Really do with a warm fire. He is not wrong. Um, speaking of fire, I can uh, take my gloves off because they will rust in the rain. Get all my empty balls. These will be useful later. Uh, not like in the game right now. But like in later updates, they'll be useful for like po making potions and putting them in. Uh, assuming they actually have us make potions. 
and not just like herbal extracts. Well, yeah, it's it's really easy to die to those if you don't know what you're doing. It's really easy. <laughs> you can literally die to the first two bandits you find if you don't know what you're doing. Let's deal with a warm fire. Yes, I get it. I get it. I know. Fine, I'll get you stupid. <laughs> Rub four sticks together so you shut up. Isn't that uh, where basically. Basically, you just end up. <clears throat> like, never equipping anything except for the stuff that you have on you. Or that you're immediately using. I, I find that uh, variant encumbrance is just a whole lot of juggling. <laughs> well, yeah, you always take out the backpack. That, that's mostly what it ends up being is, uh, well, no, I, you know, I have this on my character sheet, but it's not actually, you know, on my person. It's just... So see, you need a separate um, you need a separate category for what you're actually carrying and what you actually have in your backpack, and it's just like, eh. Meh. dropping this is a free action. <laughs> Why are we doing encumbrance? Or like, you know, encumbrance that makes you have to juggle shit in combat. Oh, you can say the things that you're actually carrying. In. Have an individual inventory. That's nice. <coughs> but yeah, if you have a way to bookkeep it, then yeah, that's fine. To be fair, it, it had just fought three other people just before. Um, you, you serious? Why? It... It was, it was severely wounded and it was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna walk up to you. You don't get the runaway wolf. Wolf, I'm serious, like, just... This is vengeance. I've, I've died to two wolves literally every single game. There have been maybe five games where I haven't died to two wolves. Okay, um... You know, I'll finish off this food by the time I leave here. Oh, there's some sacks. I was like, where in the world is the food that I can get from here? Oh, I didn't merge these. I was like, yeah. I was trying to do some inventory management to pick up this antidote and that rabbit skin. <clears throat> <coughs> Until I never would throw it away. There's a thousand until the next level. Soon I'm going to be running into higher level bandits, but I should be stronger than them by now. Though the problem is that there's going to be more of them than there is of me. So I have to be smart and not get inundated and drowned in banditry. Should be good. But if the, if the wolves didn't want to die, they shouldn't have fought me. So are so aggressive. To little, they literally chase you halfway across the world. Usually wolves in real life. Uh, once, they, once they've seen something uh, run away from them long enough, they'll just go for something slower. Or less, you know. Okay, little fighting. This one. Look, if I was playing my druid, you can literally re cast regeneration. He li I, I literally, um... I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but I literally pet Cerberus. And, and my DM was like, why? 
why are you why is your druid petting this demon and i'm like it it's a dog it's it's a puppy and i'm like it's it's the it's <laughs> It's literally like the gatekeeper to hell. Why are you petting it? And I'm like, lol, regeneration. What's it gonna do? Eat my hand? Got it. Uh, it's like, ah, oh, yes, 40 damage every time I get bit, and then I just heal myself. All I can say is it was worth it. There's so many bandits here. Luckily, I don't think they all see me. Can't feel your arm? It's probably because I've chopped it off. Come on, friend. You piece of filth. Yeah, he's dead. Any more corpses from my pile? Okay, well... I could have sworn there was three bandits here. Oh. Well, I guess that might be the culprit to why there's fewer bands than what I thought. So there's... there is a point of interest on this map. Oh, here it is. No chest in this camp. Oh my good god! Literally every map tile I've stepped on has had like five... <coughs> like, just... Yeah. I mean, that's what the one attack, it's, uh, it's got three heads. It was just the DM, the, the DM was like, every time you pet it, whenever, whatever head that you pet it, bites you. And that was just, you know. Oh, it could have done so much more damage to me. Ooh, I can actually, well, I'm not gonna pick it up now, but I can make use out of that later. The only thing that stopped my character from petting the dog is that everyone else left. And the dog started looking at me like it was my fault, and I was just like, oh no. I can't 1v1 the, uh... The, uh... Literal defender of hell. Or gatekeeper of hell, I should say. So then I amps grade. And now we're going to go hunt and eat. As far as we know, just a massive worm. Like like a literal, like, you know, earthworm. That's apparently capable of, you know, destroying cities. Which, I mean, we're, we're level 17. We're level 17, so it's like, well, if it can't destroy the world, it's, you know, below our pay grade. I still need to go out searching for more animal forms, but uh, currently I'm. <laughs> but my character, my character, the druid, just is the only person with like world, like <clears throat> with like mass teleportation. So I'm constantly having to use my. Uh... And everyone's like, "Well, I need to do this thing on the other side of the world. Hey, can you help me?" <laughs> like literally, every time we have downtime, there's like five different people that are like, "Yeah, I need my, I need your help." And I'm like, I need to find more animal forms. I'm a, I'm level 17 moon druid, and I only have like level four forms. I can currently turn into level level five, and then level uh, six is next level. This this guy would literally tear me asunder. Very dangerous. If I had a trap, I think I'd be able to take him, but not in the condition that I'm in. This is a distant dungeon. I wonder if the enemies actually uh, take... Oh, what's it called? I wonder if they take... Um... God, I've really not figured it out. Um... If they take damage from... Use your words. If they take armor durable damage from swimming. And your metal armor slowly or your metal equipment slowly degrades. Um
Oh. Hmm. <laughs> it just sunk. Um. Do I want to risk fighting this thing? Okay, so it's got... These, these don't really help me. It's got increased fumble chance. He's... He's swimming. Hmm. He's got 30% physical resistance. He's got all these skills. Hmm. I missed my debuff, obviously, because he's... In the water, and obviously my my me just sort of uh, missed and is now floating in the water, though it's submerged now. Um, I could use this to get my pain resistance up, which I will do. Does it just drown you? I'll kill you for this. If I can kill this guy, it'd be quite nice. He's currently swimming. Oh my, that's that's a halberd. What is it? What does it do? It's, ah, it's just a spear. Increase your swimming cost. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, God, if that was a if that was a if that was a freaking axe, man, that would have been so. Well, obviously it was. <laughs> what am I what am I talking about? Of course that wasn't a uh, an axe. He was using spear skills. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's probably a good way to drown. I don't know if you can drown in this game, but... If you can, I imagine that would be a good way to do it. But yeah, I think the, using the Paragor for that, I mean... It might have not been the best, but... It, the fact that I survived that fight... With just using the Paragor, that's... It's above and beyond what I'd expect. But now I now I have to deal with this uh, this aftermath that's coming. But no, I haven't made too much use out of geomancy. It uh, it's hard to get off the ground, at least for me. Well, a pure pure magic is hard to get off the ground. That uh, that doesn't do like a lot of damage. But like have you know good ranged like smacking people as, as fun as it is just smacking people around with stones isn't the best from combat i mean yeah maybe if you get off the ground but um at level one it's kind of a whole lot of running around it, it's slow it's it's so slow It's a whole lot of just, uh... No, unless you go, like, you know, with a weapon or something. As, like, a secondary, it's just literally, uh... Like, ten turns to kill a single enemy just by hitting them with Geomancy. Until you get more, uh, until you get more levels. Yeah, well, I'm not, uh, I'm not that far in the game yet to, uh, know how to do that. I mean, just using Runic Boulder, like, it, it might be strong, but it's also so tedious. Like, use one boulder, then you gotta, you know, decide whether or not it's time to remove it, and then you use the second boulder, third boulder, then you gotta remove them so they don't siphon your energy off forever. So like it is it is fun, especially if you uh, are in dungeons and can find traps. Like like if you can use other things to your advantage, but pure like purely fighting with geomancy is just it's just so tedious. Like obviously if you go in with staves, but that's 
or just, you know, adding another weapon. Because obviously the defensive bonus from stone armor is good. Hmm. That's my fatigue. Oh, I'll, I'll rest a little bit longer just to make sure I'm not rocking any fatigue. That's good. Let's search these. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I found a bear trap. What am I doing? Food there. I mean, anytime, anytime somebody's already low, uh, where is the each degree of each degree of injury affecting the target grants an extra sixteen percent damage. So, yeah, cut the is just really good. Oh, you don't skill anything. Hmm. I guess, I don't know. I mean, I have done runs where I've literally just not even started with a weapon type that my character had and just went to, just went to survival and got to level 5 and it's like, where's my treaty? site is here. Yeah. That's still, that's still like, <laughs> that's still getting to what, um, level four. I'm not very, uh, I don't consistently get to level four as a geomancer. Mostly because I just don't have the patience. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna swim and get wet. Oh, there's some bandits. I'm gonna be watching my HP because uh, my character is obviously not taking any pain. So I can't gauge my, uh, my damage based on that. Doesn't um Session also give you energy drain, yeah. Like definitely once it gets off the ground. Geomancy's really good. Especially once you start getting the later game, uh, like later like, extremely powerful skills. It's, it's just getting there, that's uh Always oh, is super, uh, super boring to me. I, I don't really like the range combat in this game. Well, specifically, like, ranged weapons, not magic. Magic's its own kind of beast that depends on what you're using. There's gonna be three of these guys. Um... I mean, it's just so slow, like... Yeah, I mean, you don't really need the skill tree to be hunting animals. Like, you can just have a ranged weapon. Yeah, but so I'm mostly I mostly talk about like the early game, like the super early game. It's like, <sighs> like go into a dungeon and then you know very slowly back away as you shoot the enemy. Slow 
totally kite back. And if you miss the same enemy, like uh, if you if you somehow get unlucky, you just lose. Unless you buy extra arrows, which I guess you could do. Like, why am I why am I picking a bolt thought? I don't need money. I looked up, I'm gonna start going on perception. I know they can be weak, they can also ruin your day if you get unlucky. Plus they plus they nerfed um your passive pain regeneration, so if uh, you don't bring some pain relief, you just uh, you actually accumulate it. Rather than it just going away by the time you actually get into your next fight. I have anything that I want to take here. Um, do I need this right now? Not really. Oh, I can get out steer. Yeah, we don't want to have like the... you can just do that in the fight. You don't need to. Uh... You don't need to be racking up your pain. I usually reliably get a second one like every time I uh, I get a little regardless of how the fight goes. So I don't really need to be uh, lowering my morale. Oh, I should have been paying attention for the snakes. Oh yeah, tier one, just tier one pain. It's just that the tier one pain, uh, unless you uh, get second wind, it just will likely never go away. Well, at least, at least when you're actually, you know, participating in fights. Obviously, I'm really bad at it. It's, you're not gonna see it on my character because I literally. Uh, a paragoric still still on, so it's literally impossible for me to rack up any pain. As soon as they're running into higher level bandits, it's just this is a question when they decide to spawn. I don't have any space to take these gauntlets off now. Yeah, I fought the truck. Well, well, the thing is that I'm also talking from the perspective of someone who plays permadeath. So, like, literally any risk is, like, you know, who knows how many hours. Hergoric Aftermath. Oh, yeah, the different aftermaths do have different colorations, I think. Which is cute. What's say cute. Has a chance to put you to sleep? <laughs> uh, skill energy cost, energy restoration, cooldown duration, sanity change, belt energy cost. Holy shit. Oh no, it, it doesn't make it gameplay difference it makes uh it makes that if you die you die oh my god that scared the shit of me i guess i should just wait but 
Like you say, it makes no gameplay difference. It makes the most important gameplay difference is that you, you know, can't take risks. Because if you take them, you just lose so much progress. Okay, so yeah, falling asleep is annoying. I'd go to the camp, but by the time I reach the camp, it just goes away. I mean to never do anything that can put me to sleep because this is just this is just obnoxious. Oh right, I need to collect this water. <laughs> like I have everything in the back of my head that uh, I'm dying of thirst. Oh my god, it stacks. The thing is, is that this isn't just pass if I just rest, because it, you know, I can't. Oh no, I can rest. I, I can rest while sleeping. Okay, never mind. I just have to reset my rest. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> Uh, this is this is basically me when I try to uh, go to sleep at night. I just constantly wake up and pass back out again. Yeah. I mean, you've probably also played the game more than me, but I'm not to the point where I'm really worried about anything like that. If I can swim, I don't know if he, I don't know if I die if I uh, if I fell asleep while swimming, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test it to find out. Do you not have anything you can eat in the next hour? Are you one of those people that literally just uber eats everything and then never has any food stocked in their house? I know a few people like that and I'm just like, you, have you heard of, have you heard of the grocery store? Going wolf. My body. Hmm. Yeah, Moose is, um, I wish it killed the Moose, like, pretty early. It, it was mostly just a question of, uh, it missing me, like, four times in a row, and me being like, well, um, <laughs> I guess you die. But aside from that, I mostly just died to Moose's. Cost $20, yeah, fair enough. Um, have, have you tried uh, pulling a uh, cataclysm and just turning into a cow and eating the grass? Oh yeah, claw traps. Just a every every solution. Literally, just have something that either pulls or knockbacks. Geomancy is obviously great for that. Like, like trapping with geomancy is amazing. Like that is that is really what saves the uh, geomancy early game for me. It's just abusing traps, especially pre-generated uh, dungeon traps. Wait, literally just push or pull anything into a claw trap and it dies. Usually. Especially if it's dumb enough to just walk in by itself. Yeah, 
Nice. Just two dog pounds. I mean, I've... I've skinned several bears. I've literally never seen one get ruined. I, I think they have, like... Obviously, like, a pity, like, you know... Pity, like, like an extra, like, 50% bonus to it not being ruined. Because if you hunted a bear... <laughs> if you hunted a bear, it's, uh... You know... Kind of understandable that, uh... You know, you shouldn't be penalized for, you know, using all your resources. And obviously a bear trap. A bear trap damaging a bear's pelt makes no sense. Just literally what it's named after. Well, obviously it's called Claw Trap, but that's what I'm going. Usually, usually I kill, uh, I, I usually kill bears by having them fight other animals. High level, high level stupid maneuvers from me, just... Just, uh, getting the uh, different animals to kill each other for me. Saves on resources. Or just bring the bears to town. That's how I got the achievement for killing a bear level 1. Is just, I just slightly poked it and then had guards kill it. Which I might end up doing. Yeah. I don't know I don't know if you're saying that the reading damage doesn't affect the bears, but I have no idea. I mean, have you uh, like I, I reput the tutorial recently just to like reread the lore and Get the achievement for fighting that boss without letting it heal. God, he's... <laughs> the tutorial makes him seem like God. And I'm just like, hot damn. <laughs> Literally, there's an achievement for dying in the tutorial, and I'm like... I, I think I... I, well, I got it, obviously, just because I died on purpose, just to get it. And I'm like, damn, that's actually a hard achievement. It actually requires it actually requires you to uh, put in some effort to finish the die in the tutorial. But yeah, how, <laughs> how in the hell am I bringing in the just bring the fucking bear into the bar? Oh, you mean the one that allows you to do like extra damage? Kill no long shot. There we go. Extra damage based on the shot. Yeah. Oh my god. I I'd love to play like high level range characters, but it's, it's just the question of the early game, which is just just not fun for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's just... Well, no, because, um... I, I always do the, uh, the Fate of the Brewery the right way, which is the, uh, Odar can go fuck himself way. So I'd have to drag him back to the brewery. Or if we go to Manshire, then I can try to get to Manshire. Just depends. Oh my god, imagine... Yeah, the extra experience for just, uh... Well, li literally any bonus experience is nice in this game, because, uh... Especially if you play on permadeath, uh, not, uh, not needing to kill an extra thing or two is, uh... Give the difference between you leveling up and you dying before you get to your next level. And leveling up can save you. Yeah, that is a uh, that is a good reason to just stay in Osbrook, but 
I just stay in Osberg for an extra long time just because I want to uh because I want to have some seed money before everything becomes more expensive. And by expensive I just mean like the all the equipment becomes more expensive. Like, I can't just, you know, wear weaker armor. It's just, it's just that I know the moment I start seeing better items, I'm going to equip them and then have to pay for them. God, I remember, every time I get uh, every time I get a high-level piece of gear out of a secret room, it literally costs me all of my money. It's like, oh, yes, a 20 protection helmet. What is... You know, what did I pay for it? Nothing. How much does it cost me every time I go out? It's like 500 every time. It doesn't get me started on the uh, the witch's staff. <laughs> Literally one point of durability is like 50 gold, and I'm just like, what the fuck is this? It's a, it's a great staff, don't get me wrong, but why is it so expensive? <laughs> Yeah, the major step is just, oh my god, it's just, literally anything has a, uh, a vulnerability, you literally can abuse it no matter what it is. Assuming it's a damage type in the game, I think it's on the staff. Aside from, like, obviously elements, like, obviously it doesn't have piercing or spreading. But if it has an elemental weakness, you can abuse it. Please hit your friend. Oh, well, at least he didn't hit me. Out of towns I've seen these guys kill their own friends. It's kind of hilarious. It's, like, it's always hilarious to watch them murder somebody for me. I don't really need to heal myself. Uh, I just need to rest more than anything. Well, my fatigue isn't that bad. I just like to get my vigor buff back. Yeah, I imagine it would. It uh, does extra body part damage for each tile. Then, especially if you take aim before you do it, I think take aim effects. I think it would affect long shot. I don't know why it wouldn't. But yeah, that is a uh, that's pretty deadly. Hmm. Oh, does long shot increase your sight range? Because. Isn't just using a bow and arrow just line of sight? How's that working? <laughs> Listen, I thought it was line of sight. Maybe I'm uh, forgetful. It, it's been a while since I used the bow. I just literally on every character I used to start with a ranged weapon, and then I uh, came to the conclusion that it was just a lot of juggling for no real benefit. Like, like obviously, especially on Derwin, he's uh. It, it's nice to get his passive on something before you actually start melee fighting them, but it's just it's just tedious for me. Oh right, yeah, that is true. That is also true, right. God, I so rarely you get Pathfinder because it's... It's not even that it's, you know, it, it's just oftentimes I don't find the, the skill book unless I'm going Perception, there's not really a reason to grab it. Where the heck is this point of, oh, it might be the cave entrance. Or maybe not, maybe it's, oh, it's here. <laughs> Like, what in the hell? Where the hell is this thing? Oh, it's the, um... 
upset with the bees. You know what? There's a ball over here. I can. There's also a reason you like to have like a range weapon as a backup. Just cause it's super easy to destroy those. It's only two arrows. Hmm. <laughs> I've literally already gone out and killed bees like this recently. Um. Oh, if I can sneak this chest. I mean, obviously it doesn't have the same, like, penalties, it has, it has a net 11% accuracy, 2% extra crit chance, no fumble chance. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, there's no good reason for me not to equip this. It's a bit damaged, but what are you going to do? I'm skipping, like... I don't even think this is, like, that higher of a tier, because it's obviously lower tier. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I guess I, I was complaining about this earlier. It's like, how in the world would you know where an animal is? I, I, yeah, obviously, kind of fun. I'm an idiot. I was like, how would you know where an animal is if you wanted to get ahead of it? Or sneak up on it? It's like, oh, Pathfinder. I always forget that. Hmm. Where are the bees? Oh. There are the bees. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have been using the shovel. I probably could have been uh, been run of that. Yeah, if the bees aren't gonna be close to their hive, I can probably kite them around and maybe get some hornet honey. Oh, if you're gonna fight me one on one, this is a bit damaged, but I'll use it anyways. It's obviously uh, a massive downgrade in the. Kit. Wait, no, let's just... I I'm not going to be taking up every single grave. Let's just get rid of the shovel. Oh. Okay. I'm also just doing this because I like to. Aside from the horn of honey, there's no real tangible benefit for doing this. Well, aside from experience as well. God, my immunity's taking a massive hit. Um, it's a way to turn. Um, do I want to get rid of that much intoxication? Or not? Yeah, intoxication. Um, I get the fire started. I can just get rid of intoxication by resting. <laughs> Balls of steel. Oh yeah, yeah, I will visit the Lippers here. I could have bring, brought the mask, but I already had the padded coif. And I was like, eh. If I want it that bad, I can just go back for it anyways. That's why I brought all these, that's why I found all these antitoxins. Honestly, I prefer the uh, protection on my head. I mean, it, if I get into a situation where I, uh, somebody sets off a poison trap, I'm gonna wish I had that mask. Just in my inventory waiting for it, but that I I'd rather keep my inventory space uh for the loot. Oh you can hit me from there, I didn't even notice. Only one bee is gonna find me. Okay, it's finally over. Away. Second wind to grab this honey. Honey, I, have, I picked up a butterfly. For some cursed reason. Again, just just rest right next to these things. Absolutely titanium sack. I I don't need a lot picks. Why am I even looking for inventory space to pick them up? 
Alright, do I want this shovel? I should probably go back at this point. Um, you know what, I'll take it. Just because I like to have something that doesn't have durability to smash it with. I mean, yeah, this is... Well, it's not a big upgrade, it is. Well, actually, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, I don't... I don't have all the axes memorized. This might be... significant. I guess it's just... Um, if this is that much of an upgrade over the Lumberjack axe... <laughs> Like, aside from the, you know, accuracy, but that's not, you know, the biggest thing in the world. But it does, you know, make you wonder how good the Lumberjack Axe is to start with. If something that does less damage is, uh, is something that's also better than it. Oh, right, I can get free healing items if I bring Peppermint back with me. Uh, I don't need that. There you go. Luckily, plants don't. Not plants, but um, herbs don't. Oh, I already picked those up centuries ago. I didn't need to do that. I'm still wounded anywhere. Sometimes the game doesn't heal the last percentage up for some weird reason. Hmm. My immunity is just so bad. I don't know if they've added maladies to the game yet. I've never been afflicted by one, but also I might not be fighting things that can ever afflict them, inflict them. I hope uh, if they ever add diseases, it's going to be like um, Darkest Dungeon diseases, where it's like most of them are super bad, but sometimes they have like a weird like positive effect. Okay, hold on, you don't look like bandits. Order wants me to liberate this place. Brigands, you're not brigands, I know. Crown comes over here and tells me he's the rightful owner. Yeah, I play that every now and again. Trying to do horses. Yeah, as long as you give me the card, I don't care who uh, who gives it to me. Um, what of interest on our stocks? Uh, I think I want to repair my stuff first. Yeah, I, uh... I, I haven't played it enough recently to, uh, where the, to the point where I can actually, you know, get late in the game without uh, getting myself killed. I'm actually gonna leave stuff in this chest so I can... Part of the Oz's dagger is going to be worth anything to me. I mean, it could be a backup weapon, but I, why would I? No, no, it doesn't. It wouldn't make any sense. Um. Oh no! 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 I don't want to equip that. Suddenly, begin wielding a pelt. Um. I'll come back for this later. Um, I'm just storing some stuff here just because this is where I'm going to have the cart. So I can use this as storage. When I leave. I don't, I don't need four... Uh, like, I already have, what, three things to deal with poison and intoxication? I don't need... I don't need this much. Selling... This is random stuff. Yeah, it looks good. I appreciate that the game uh, lets you loot that regardless of how you finish this quest. Because everything else, regardless of whether you beat the quest one way or another, it's all considered stealing. Is there a cart or roadside altar here? Man, it's my weapon is so damaged. Can you please stop? 
appearing on the road. Yeah, I thought about that before. But you got cleansing to remove buffs. It can also work on undead. But it does also make you weaker when you cast on yourself to benefit yourself. Unless you're purging positive effects, it's, it's weird. Um, I mean, obviously, just seal up power is just 15% extra damage. It doesn't last very long, but that's besides the point. Damage reflection. Thaumaturgy doesn't really do anything. Seal of Shackles will be really good regardless of how you do it. As long as you have an enemy that casts magic, which magic can be such a pain in the ass. Especially if you're up against a necromancer that's just going to repeatedly raise the same two skeletons. Well, it's not even the skeletons that are the problem, it's when they raise a... Uh, a restless... And that restless decides that you literally have to just remember every body part off of them. Please stop appearing on the roads. Honestly, I think I have a better chance of just fighting people with the shovel. That's my reputation with Osbrook, anyways. It's not too bad. Only 16 damage. Ugh. I mean, it'll be decent once I actually get it repaired. Was it decent? It's gonna be quite nice. Wait, where, where did I find this? I just found this in the death death hive camp. Or Death Stinger Camp. Sometimes the bandit camps have really, uh, really high level items for where you find them. Or what you fight in them, I should say. It's like, oh yes, four of just shitty bandits. What did I find? I found uh, something. Something that the, uh, the merchants don't even sail where I'm at. Throw this pitchfork at him. <laughs> I'll kill you for this. <laughs> Man just uh, took that uh, pitchfork and threw like a fucking. Ch <laughs> that that head got some fucking airtime. Holy shit! Or antitoxin. The game. Uh, the game was like, are you sure you don't need any more of this? If only I'd waited, I would have gotten uh, more riding boots. Alright. Then I. Game, you want to let me finish the sentence before you immediately put me in combat with more bandits? Excuse me, friend, but, uh... Do you want to meet Jesus? <laughs> do, you have, do, you have a, do you have a second for a lord and savior, Jesus Christ? I don't think so. Stop! No! He went to meet God. Yeah. 
I'll probably wait to uh, finish um, getting the card when I'm ready to leave because it'll it'll penalize me, penalize me for doing it the right way. I kind of really like that uh, the the games. Uh, the game punishes you for doing things the uh, the good way. The way that you should. Real game should do that. Where it's like, oh, you uh, you did the right thing? Well... <laughs> Unfortunately for you, the good thing doesn't pay as well. You did, a, you did things the way that uh, was morally right? Well, everyone hates you now. <laughs> True to life more than anything. Guys, guys, this brings back memories, my character says. <laughs> what of chopping up bandits? I mean, maybe. He was. I was gonna say Grindskeeper, he was like a. Uh, a forest protector, whatever. Oh yeah, is this okay? So these, um, it's what I assumed, but uh, yeah, they don't they don't spawn the items in those barrels until you go to the mill. Which I guess that's free food when I come back through. So I'm one of the good guys, clearly. These girl, I have like I have so many potions. Do ID. As much as I like this silver topaz ring, I'm just gonna take more experience for now. I should buy just an enchantment scroll or disenchantment scroll just in case. That's gonna really do for me. Hello, food lady. I'm just going to buy some stuff for me. Oh, come back once my inventory's a bit lighter. Prepare my axe, my good friend. I didn't even check how much that cost. It, it was probably a lot, honestly. I do need a new claw trap. Just on the off chance I get molested by... Stuff on the oh right, I should probably repair my belt. Well, let's let's check if there's not a better belt before I do that. That would be smart. Damn, not really. Probably not finding better boots here. Oh well, the high boots, but I can just wait to find new ones. You my friend, you can take these pelts that I just randomly found. I already have a second pouch to be storing stuff away. Um, and I'm done with you. Ah, I still forgot to repair my gloves. I keep forgetting because I'm used to gloves being made out of... Uh, Leather. Oh my! My necklace somehow took the damage. <gasps> Somebody was chopping me in the throat, apparently. Oh. Shift click. Yeah, shift click. Buy all these fruits from you. That's immunity. That's immunity, and then sell you one of these and buy this. There we go. Hmm. Oh, right, the Herbalist Quest. Guess he's inside. 
going to work for me, and it's done. Oh, whoops. I forgot to hand it in. Okay, I just want... Some of these I'll put away, but... First I will buy them. Put some more pain relief. I've got alcohol for... Any extra I might need. And the unidentified potion. How am I getting that back into my inventory? I'll probably for ideing the potion. Pff, idiot. Potion of drunkenness. Ooh, that's I guess I'll test it on an enemy. Bad potions like this are good to throw at people. But it, the question is... Is it... Like, like, if it's a tier 4 drunkenness, then yeah, that's useful on enemies. But if it's just light drunkenness, then it's literally the most useless potion ever. For uh, throwing. And I say useless because... Um, this... Fairly increases your intoxication. This makes you so intoxicated. Okay. I'll just note that I'm going to wait until later to use. Um, got a few extra to leave here. One of the extra bandages away. I'll probably throw this at somebody. Because I don't like... Well, I, I might use it for pain relief. I don't, I don't like modern drunkenness. Modern drunkenness? Moderate drunkenness. It's, uh, it's more hurtful than uh, helpful. Oh, Stardust I should have sold. One at home is obviously just something I can use. Hmm. And most of my inventory is just now food. I don't need too much. Uh... Oh, right. I guess I just won't buy it. I don't need too much food in my inventory considering I now hunt for food. Which <gasps> requires me to kill something a little bit stronger than just, you know, wolves. But I'll, I'll make do. I'll just injure your the demise, as I always do. Can you take the Stardust? I don't really care. I just want to get it out of my inventory. Let's go see Odar for the quest. Alright, speaking of which... Yeah, still neutrality with uh, the other places. Any contracts? Oh. It's actually surprising. I I traveled literally all the way around like this and did not actually. Oh. Huh. Guess I'll go down and to the right. Uh, bought from you. Bought from you. Everything should be repaired. God, if I find the herbalist hut, I, I found the herbalist hut on this side of the map, where it's supposed to be a quest you get from Manshire. This, oh yeah, this is a quick hawk. It hit Scott. No, uh, it, I don't know. Sorry, words. A um. God, I can't. I can't even remember that phrase. It's been so long since I've uh, regularly said it. Hip scop and a. Hip, hip hop and a jump. No, I, I, I actually have no idea what that phrase was. Okay, I'm gonna look this up because I actually feel insane. Hip.
<laughs> I feel insane. Was that even a phrase that I used to say? Not, I mean, like, during my childhood. I didn't really say... I haven't really said that recently at all. Hipscotch? Hopscotch in a jump? I, I have literally no idea. I guess I just need a few more days to pass. I mean, I could have just passed a few days in the town, but I don't do that. Uh, this is bear territory. I will avoid that. Unless it's like a bear and a moose. Or bear or a moose. If you get those two to fight, I didn't buy bear trap. If I end up fighting another boar, I just die. Uh, it'll be fine. Unless it, unless it attacks me on the hands. If it uh, if the boar targets my hands, I think I'll be fine. Tell protection is uh, pretty good. I actually had a bug where um, Odor didn't give me the first quest in the uh, the three quest chain, and and the first quest was Bert being imprisoned, so Bert was just completely unavailable. Unfortunately, that run ended before I could see, or I, yeah, it, it ended before I could see if I could, uh, free him. Which, yeah, so, it's weird. Yeah, still speckled over. I don't, I don't know who came all this way to speckle over the head just so it could, uh, you know become reinfested, but... Sure. Damn you, Archer. Yeah, it's a dead man. How in the world did you smack his head that far? Bad. This is uh, definitely a lot more consistent than not getting any fumbles. But it's very inconsistent. Yeah, only 15% chance to fumble. 88% accuracy. Yeah, this, uh, this Adorax is... Uh, I was going to say worthwhile investment is if I paid to buy it. Oh. I guess just for him I'm going to... Fix my leg up a bit more. Piece of filth. How about you die? Bye, friend. It's already another bandit over there, but it's just level one bandits. I say level one. They're like level. Most bandits at the start are level zero. Not a single skill in their name. God, freaking wolves. Yeah, 600 XP from leveling again. After I level up, the sooner I get to fight better bandits, which is going to be fun. But it doesn't mean I should, you know, focus more on offensive skills. Because I need to be able to kill the bandits faster. Right, what are strength, perception, strength, agility... Yeah, I'm gonna have to find the next book. Cause I haven't just been going straight strength because I wanted the uh I wanted the accuracy and the counter chance from getting agility and I wanted the HP from vitality. Just I already had <laughs> my uh my Mandarin already starts with a point in each, so me as well. Oh, the roadside altar. I was like, okay, now where's the uh, where's the point of interest? Nope, that, that that was already what I'd found. Oh, there's a lake there. I can use this for water. Hmm. 
need to remember to occasionally search for snakes in the grass. Freaking living, living traps. There's a point of interest. Am I close enough? Yeah, I'm close enough to the map edge that if anything was in those tiles, I would have found them already. I'll just hug the corner. I, I should really be filling in more with a map. I'm also not that concerned anyways. Point of interest. What could it be? It's it's probably just a camp if I were to guess. God, he's still mid. <laughs> I uh, that ability gives me zero percent dodge chance. So uh, he literally just missed because he sucks. Oh yeah, this thing has a hundred durability before it gets fifty HP or fifty percent uh, durability. So it's uh, it's got a, quite a long shelf life. Oh my god, another one of these! I think I'm just gonna pick this open, loot everything, and then leave. So I've already fought like so many of these. I'm just not, uh, not interested in getting poisoned for the 11th time. Oh, this bridge are doing okay, just avoid that. Okay, now they're in melee with me, so I just have to kill them where they all get tax of opportunity every single turn. Fine game, you win. Play your little game. Let's go back to the left. Shouldn't have to go too far before I can turn back. I also need to remember to loot this place. The thing I'm hoping to find down here is, um... Oh my god, have I really forgotten his name? Um, Durbin's, uh, hunting... Or not hunting friend. His, uh... It, the, the hunter merchant's, uh... Hideout. Cavern. Whatever you want to call it. Because there's quite a few pelts and traps there. Which is just... <laughs> I mean, a free claw trap is uh, always worthwhile to pick up. I haven't forgotten his name. Probably just me being stupid. Don't pull him into me. My finger! His finger's gone? I suppose that is a medium injury. Oof. It's not getting that back. Not with me medieval medicine. Honestly, even reattaching a uh, finger to the modern day is still an iffy, uh, iffy thing. My grandfather managed to uh, get one of his fingers reattached after it was uh, taken off by a, uh, I think it was a lobster pot or a lobster trap, depending on uh, where you come from. We call them lobster pots. Where we come from, where I come from. But yeah, it's just. Uh, Thin, thin, thick wire. Oh, I... Uh, high tensile strength wire, so... Yeah, when uh, when it got... I guess he... It, his hand was caught on it when he threw it overboard, so... Full weight of the lobster pot, uh... Took his finger off, and then he, uh, got reattached. And it was awful when I, uh, first saw it. He, uh... His fingernail fall, fell off, because obviously there was nothing left to attach it to, so... It was just... <sighs> It literally, like, even though I've never experienced it, it, it felt like somebody had ripped off one of my fingernails. Just that's the way that I am. 
Jobs, I don't know what it's like to have your fingernail cut off, but uh, you know, you... my best guess is still pretty painful. Oh, snake skin! I've never seen this before. This item may interest some merchants. Snake skin is shrouded in superstition. Rumors have it that it, that respectable healers use to ward off evil eye, the evil eye, and treat many illnesses. Alternatively, in the hands of a witch or warlock, it can only cause trouble. Doesn't seem that valuable. What with fifty? Huh. Maybe certain people buy it at a higher price. Let's get Shield Breaker because that's uh, required to continue the skill tree. Mm. Every third attack deals damage equal to 25% of the targets of max HP, but no more than 25%. Interesting. Let's apply the target with extra damage taken for three turns and grants the attacker's skill energy cost reduction. Increases my crit chance. I mean, it's it's nice. I'm not gonna say that that it isn't, but it's nothing too incredible. Attacks against targets with less or, no no more than 50% health uh, gain extra damage and extra accuracy. But when they're below, it they take more just regular damage and increased fumble or decreased fumble chance. But and then a flat 5% accuracy. Ooh, that is... I mean, 10% extra accuracy for us is... Next level. If we were to get... Um, if we were to get finished them, which obviously we're probably not going to. That would be a 100% chance to hit when they're above 50... <laughs> well, yeah, 50%. When they're above 50% chance... Sorry, I'm tired. With about 50% chance, there's literally no missing them unless they dodge us. And then rain and blood. Go for a target that puts the enemy's skill down. Uh, skill downs on ability pools. I don't know. Puts their abilities on a one turn cooldown for each injured, ooh, each injured body part and each missing 20% HP. And 75%, 76% chance to apply bleeding to each injured each injured body part holy shit bunches match energy for each degree of injury and instance of bleeding if i can three i don't know if that works after or before the ability to bleed i mean i assume during the ordering it check it does one the other and then checks but it could do all of it at the same time so there's no guarantee but yeah definitely rain and blood would be my uh Ideal. And then the second one would be uh, finish them. Because, hot damn, that, uh, that is pretty sexy. Oh my god. Yeah, putting, putting enemies' abilities on cooldown just makes fights so inside them. Um. Crushing and piercing do almost no damage to pelts. I'm gonna beat this rabbit over the head with a shovel. Poor, <gasps> poor rabbit. <sighs> oh, what did it ever do to deserve that treatment? Despite how cautious and skittish rabbits can be, hunting one isn't that hard. Their pelts are usually made, usually used to make clothes. Not bad. Why was there a rabbit there? I do scroll. That is important to me. Get rid of this. Uh, the amber isn't that valuable. The, the arrows aren't that valuable either, honestly. Maybe someday you'll be able to make something out of snakeskin. 
And then he vomited. Ugh. Damn you. Damn you, hindsight. At least I had vigor to uh, remove any intoxication I get built up. Because obviously my immunity is not in the best position. Yeah, I do have plenty of fatigue, so I'm gonna wait until this buff reaches 360. God, it literally gives me every single stat I could ever need. Except hunger and thirst, but that's. That would be kind of OP if I had the uh, way to remove that. Alright, that should be good enough. There's bear territory there. Um, I'll probably just skip over it. Very cautiously. You know, if I just hug the corner, I might not have to worry about it. Appears that some bandits are fighting bears, so I'm just going to ignore it. Or am I? No, I'm gonna ignore it. I don't have enough inventory space to be fiddling around with a bear pelt. Yeah, there's bear torture there. Get rid of this amber so I can make room for my. The gloves in my inventory so I don't get them wet. Mm -hmm. All this stuff down and grab the four sticks. I I've never had problems with like stuff disappearing off the floor. Which is a godsend. Like I've literally had a fang in me with uh in Osbrook this entire uh, this entire time and it's never once disappeared. Yeah, okay, I can shove this back under my hands. For my figure buff to get at least above three hundred. I was waiting for my fatigue to go down to two, so I knew that I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going to be keeping it for much longer. And then switch back to my actual weapon. Someone flaw with having a uh, backup weapon that isn't a weapon. Wow, um... What are you doing outside of your territory, my friend? Looking to kill me? Probably. I think it's something like a random blood, and eh, I could probably aggro something to a bear or the like. Huh. Bear. It's all wolves, but uh, I could probably injure the bear by having somebody else fight it and then swoop in with one of those attacks. I'd probably be able to finish it off. Also, if I can get that wolf to go to the bear. I might be able to get the bear to kill it for me. Okay, well, the bear killed him for me. Could have killed him myself, but I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to point and laugh as he died. So I just need to check the time. Yeah. I mean, it'd be, it'd be very silly to do that, but it's true, it would be fun. Um, you too injured. Oh, uh, how about you come fight the bear with me? Um, that, uh, 
Do you guys not see the, the bulbs? <laughs> Why are you chasing me? I think you have more pressing concerns, my friends. Dang it, I need to be more careful. Luckily, these guys aren't going to be able to hit me very well. Where was over here, I think? Oh, it's over here. Oh, and I screwed up again so he gets another shot. Okay, you, you need to stop chasing me. I'm so tired of this shit. Um, Wolf, are you gonna... You gonna give chase yet? Okay, a little bit of a problem, but I'll be fine. Ooh, there's something I can use. Ooh, the bear almost got a free shot off on me. Moose, where are you? Okay, if I circle back around, hopefully the moose will uh, attack this time. And hopefully the target will be the bear, but if it's me, I, uh, I just saw profusely. Where did the moose go? Did the moose move? Where have you gone, moose? Did you go fight something else? I... I'm very confused. Well, I guess I just have this bear permanently attached to my ass. Oh, sup, bandit archer. Go play with the bear. Can you shoot the bear, please? I'm just trying to get somebody else to aggro to this bear so I don't have to fight it. Wow, you really are an asshole, Bandit. Oh, there's a, there's a wolf. Seeing evolves, there's my dog. Sorry, Buster. I uh, I'm a little busy. Oh, thank you. It's a point of interest somewhere, but I'll have to find that cart later. Are you literally going to chase me to the other side of the world? Probably. What is this door fortress that uh, throwing things at the uh, enemies as if they do like a thousand damage? Which you sometimes do do that in adventure mode, at least. I just wanted to use my gold coins to throw it. Uh, I should try that. See if you can throw coins in this game. Probably not, but it'd be funny. Slowly up the beaten path. 
Oh, here's something that'll fight the bandit. Or bear, I should say. Oh, bears can stun people? Interesting. Oh, it's one of its abilities, probably. Rent flesh. Oh, no, that just. He just dealt so much damage that it stunned. Which will sharply. It, he's running. Oh, my God, are you stupid? He's running away from the bear. To get to me. Oh, it's just baseline. Well, that's good to know. Oh, that bear's no longer chasing me. I got both wolves just decided to uh, disappear instead of fighting the bear for me. Kind of unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Yeah, that moose. That moose just uh, decided to leave. I don't even know where it went. Oh, sup, friends? Stupid cold dead here. The rebel says. I mean, it. It's raining. You, you, you just sort of stood out in the rain. Do you expect? Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you get for just you know attacking anybody that you see. Okay, is there a point of interest here? Somewhere. Oh, it's a roadside altar. Um, what's the campfire here? And just rest to regain vigor. Take water on it. Food. Eat. I have two identification scrolls for when I get back. Very nice. Mm hmm. Alright, let's grab this. 10% experience about mostly. At least that's what I care about most. I'm still gonna reach the distant homestead at this rate. Oh, man catchers. Finally, this. Better bandits. Okay. Oh, right, you charged. I forgot you did that. And now you've finished. You've lost. How about you just die? You did, you did a good amount of damage to my freaking leg. Rude. Throwing that. Um. Gonna run out of food soon. I need to start getting something to eat. This isn't the wind. I missed again. Can't feel your arm. Too bad. I'm certainly not gonna show mercy on you. Piece of fill. Everywhere. I'll kill you for this enemy. We've been slaughtered. Or we're being slaughtered, I should say. And now he's blocking, which is a bit obnoxious, but. I don't think that's gonna help him, considering I have. I have Shield Breaker. Yeah, which reduces their block chance, block recovery, and block power, and it stacks. And increases my crit chance that they have no block chance. Or is it block power? Yeah, block chance. If it's reduced to zero, they just, just automatically start taking more damage. There are more crits, in particular, which is usually more damage. The raining slowing up a bit. Should pro 
probably start turning, uh, turning back. Oh, something was funny in the map because the game is uh, taking a long time to, res to resolve turns. Ghouls? No, it's a wolf shadow. Fair enough. Got some bandits must be uh, aggroing all these wolves. Um, something just charged me as I left the map. I don't even want to turn back to see what it was. That would have been a moose rushing me from across the screen. And then I just left. Luckily, it, uh, it didn't chase me. I want to end the stream just so I can look at the bot of what the hell that was. Okay, this... Not the homestead. Might also be the uh, hermit's hut. Just from the little corner that I can see of it. It's an ambush. I'm just gonna leave. The mic bet would be on farmstead, yeah. Some sort of someone. Oh, right. Bandit. Bandit archer. Oh. Now they're both running. Oh, now it's my turn to run from you. Good job. Oh, god dang it. So picking up the freaking arrows. But yeah, this is the this is the farmstead. I will be able to get some hospitality and steal some free food. A ba oh, it's a bandit. Oh. <laughs> Kitchen knife. Barrel. Ladle rags. Nothing interesting. Huh. Probe. Nothing. Barrel, nothing. I need to remember to, uh, uh, Castle Magia, you mean? Nah, I've, uh, I'm planning on playing it, but I just, uh, I've been more interested in playing this game and other roguelikes that I already have. So I think I get smashed. I might be covering up something. Cause I have I've I've actually found like hidden entrances below stuff before. Huh. This place. So I'll just say what caused people living here to abandon the, their home along with everything they owned. Um I didn't own much, because so I haven't found anything here. Yeah, I just need to get into it. I just haven't played it at all. Huh. Seriously, this is really just nothing here. Oh, there's something here. Oh, secret stash. Hmm. 
See, I knew there was something hidden somewhere. My uh, my loot senses were tingling. Huh. I don't know if the same thing is at the um the burned end watermill. A uh a buried stash. God, I need to find it so I can scavenge that place for any sort of uh, hiding spot. Which is why I kept the shuffle. So I can break shit and dig up stuff like that. Oh, good. Hey, uh, another bandit. Got a tether. Get your turn to run from me. Kill me for this. Sure you will. Oh my god, his head flew off the map. <laughs> he said off with your head before he... Oh no, no. I said off with your head before I killed him. Oh, speaking of... Speaking of the devil. Um... Is this literally the burned end watermill? Yep, burned watermill. Um... What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds of finding it uh, literally, uh, literally just after I mentioned it? Now we see it's spawning closer to the north. God, that is. Okay, um. Where are your secrets? Oh, oh my god, he just has a pelt right on top of himself. Oh no, I don't want to throw it. Stash it all the usual way. Um. Clearly it's not in this room. Or if it is, I just, my character just can't see it. Um. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna even carry it with me. It's just random psychop help. Now let's throw my equipment back on. Is where could the stash be? And it might just be um, a misnomer, but I mean, I'm willing to uh, check off's gun. This, you know, they wouldn't mention a stash if there wasn't one. Maybe they would.
Nope. If I search this entire place, and there's no, uh, it's, I mean, maybe it's out of, uh, out of sight. A little harder to find than just, you know, scouring every pixel, but. I don't know. It's a little annoying that it doesn't, that it doesn't point you more in the direction if it even exists. Which, if it doesn't exist, it would just be, you know, my fault for looking for something that, uh, isn't there. Hmm. Well, I, I don't believe he, uh... I don't believe there's anywhere I can look for that stash. I haven't already attempted to. Well, aside from the surrounding tiles, which I'm just... I don't care if there's a thousand gold waiting for me, wherever it is, but... Just that is just not something I'm willing to do. Scour every... <laughs> scour every, uh... Pixel in the surrounding tiles, just for... Whatever it might be. Maybe that um, point of interest isn't even finished yet. That could always be possible that there's supposed to be a stash that just haven't implemented it yet. It's obviously a sticky stash and I've been at home so I'm just... Where would it be? Where would it be that I didn't already look? Which is all I can say is... That's it's a bit of a bridge too far to be looking for that. I'm crossing this river. Oh, oh, oh this roof here. Didn't have to take a dip in the water for this. Oh, well, it's a crossing, fair enough. I'm gonna keep searching for snakes just in case I run into one. Oh, okay, uh, that actually gave me a bit of a heart attack seeing that viper. Not that it would have killed me, but it just gave me a fright. Okay. So technically, just in the uh, the fields around Osbrook. The uh, coloration of the tile, the map tiles change once you get over in Manchester. Is that thing they do? Oh, whoops! I underestimated my uh, yeah, underestimated my range. This isn't the one. That must be a Skyrim reference. Come on, just jazz into me. I know you're in range. Okay, fine, let's hurt you. Ooh, smashed into me. Fix my leg. Tanned boots. Tanned bull high guarantees longevity to every footwear it's used for. Um, yeah, this is an all around upgrade. This is why I didn't buy the, uh, the high boots. And I'll take this bear. But yeah, it also has 50 more durability than our current boots. Obviously, it's reduced because it's damaged, but it is it is a free upgrade. All I need to do is repair it. Oh, I should probably rest next to this campfire. It's only to worry about um Getting stuff to eat. But that's not a major problem right now. Hmm. Time to start heading home. 
And by home, I mean Osbrook. <laughs> Just go all the way back to uh, Turin's hometown. God, that'd be cool if they implemented the, uh, the player characters' hometowns. Or the uh, pre made NPCs' hometowns. That's probably ways off for they start doing stuff with that. Ooh, this is a bit dangerous to be fighting him with that abilities, but uh, never mind. I hurt my leg a bit, but aside from that, we're good. He's a good point of interest. Should probably be picking up berries for a go, but my inventory's so full. Mostly with stuff that I don't think is actually worth carrying. These, uh, these statues aren't that great. Also, one of my uh, favorite design decisions in the game is the fact that hunger, at least in terms of dying of hunger, it dying of hunger takes longer than dying of thirst. Which is uh, very thankful, because this games were... Um, like a great example was uh, Subnautica that I was watching uh, Damon play. Or Dayman play. And it, and it was just like, he, he died of hunger so often, and I'm just like, wow. That, that literally should not be... Uh, you, you don't die of hunger within 24 hours. And he was literally dying of hunger like every like four in-game hours. Like literally the day, the sun wouldn't even rise and set in the time it took him to get hungry again. Or not hungry, starved. And I was just like, that's, that's just unrealistic. For a survival game, you know, realism is... At least in terms of like how much food and water you need, it's like, you know, it usually it's realism is easier than most games. Most games are like, oh, have you eaten in the past like two minutes? Well, you must be uh, must be time to make you die. Imagine all of those three in unison just charge at me. Oh my god, that'd be so brutal. Freaking moose. The run enders. I will circumvent those moves and uh, mark that place with the skull. Cause that is a, that is a dead zone. Oh my god, so many points of interest. Um, character's stomach isn't. Uh, isn't great. Hopefully I'll just find some food. I, I should have stolen some food from the mill. It'll probably rot by the time I get back. But that doesn't really matter. All this food. All this food fighting each other. That's just another point of interest. Hopefully it's a camp with food in it. Ooh, it's ghouls! Which means the ghouls will fight the... the wolves. Oh my good god, that is... Those, uh, those wolves were savage in killing that uh, large ghoul. Another, uh, another death zone. I'm in no condition to be fighting ghouls. 
well, not stronger goals that'll just eat each other to get stronger. Outside of my uh, capabilities. And there's a freaking boar. Well, I can't do t go two feet without running into something I just don't want to be facing right now. I, I mean, I could try killing it, but I don't have a trap to really set up for it. I'll pick my fights because I am quite a distance away from town. And I don't have any, any like healing potions or anything to really uh, warrant risking it. Uh, just need the food. And there's a. Boar hunting. Hunting spot. Start shaking my. Uh, my mirror replacement. That was a. Or fighting something with the not back. Um, I didn't even see the boar. I guess it did not matter. Um, To eat. <gasps> I mean, drink. That's good. It's starting to get pretty bad. I need to find a campsite or set myself up a campfire. Oh, there's the henchman. Oh, right. You can dash to me. Ooh, poor guy. I got crit. Which means he's. He's gonna die no matter what, but means he's super dead. Oh my god. You guys at least drop some food for me. Oh, there we go. He killed his own man. I, I wish they uh, they added little voice lines at the. Uh, if the bandits killed each other by accident, <laughs> that'd be funny. Okay. She was not doing too great. There's gonna be a massive swath of the map that I'm just not gonna have explored, but I kind of under. I, I would not underestimate. I kind of like over traveled. Uh, I might take a break later and then come back with this. It just... I mean, I might also just not take a break. 
and the tea break for D&D. Or for even oh right, we were traveling to um Indian we were traveling halfway across the world to go fight some city devouring monster. Or maybe not city devouring, city destroying. Healing items, um I guess I'll just merge these mild healing items and then just leave. So point of interest is probably this cart. I'm not going to travel over there to find out. I'm just going to go up this path back to Osbrook. And then hit up any points of interest I find. God, the uh, but one of the first times, uh, first times I found a Death Singer hive and crawlers, I found them when it was foggy outside, and uh, I've just always associated with fog with death in this game. Like every time I ever see fog, I'm like, oh god, am I about to die? Like regardless of like any other circumstance. And there's the hunger. Um, oh, it's a can. Okay, good. Stop henchman. How bad is this? Eh, it's nothing too major. Though it is concerning, but it won't be until like what, like. Yeah, 55% before it really becomes an issue. Two more leg. Should be, yeah, third. He took a trap on me. And then I just started bleeding him and then chopped his fucking head off. Ooh, a coned helmet. Um, and a dragon fruit. That is quite nice. I should have checked what it actually did, but. I think it gives like eight or six immunity, one of the two. Um, yeah, nine versus five. Fifteen physical resistance versus eight. It obviously is metal, so it reduces my shock resistance, but I've never fought anything that does shock damage. It gives 33% bleed resistance versus ten. Or no, 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 the other one gives 33. Um... Versus this 10. 5% control versus this thing's 10. And obviously it reduces our energy. I uh, I think I will equip it though. Yeah, I'm gonna take out these two or put away these two for pelts. Um No no. Um Do I think I'm going to get a fair price for equipment? No. I, I don't trust selling equipment ever. It's usually better just to sell valuables. Yeah, a whole lot of repairing I need to do when I get back, so... I'm probably going to have to pull on some of my savings. Um... Ocean Trunkiness. I need to use that. You know, let's get rid of this. And... Oh, right. It's... The only thing I'm keeping is... Uh, or not keeping. The only thing I'm leaving behind is the, the hat. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I, uh... Four protection upgrade, that is that is nothing to scoff at. 
I would have liked it to have more bleed resistance, but you know, you can't win them all. Or so if I can find like two wolves, the to you know, you know, the birds. If I can get two wolves to soften up for me, I might be able to kill it. But yeah, obviously this none within range. Yeah, with this axe, this member is um, very likely to deal body part damage. Or uh, to bring to a body part threshold. Very, very sexy. So basically, it always uh, triggers its secondary effect. If it, sh if it worsens or inflicts a new injury, it reduces their max HP by 8%. Or loses 8 I don't know if that means that it reduces their max or it just damages their max. Or does damage based on their max. But it, uh, it also causes bleeding, which is always nice. Because bleeding also does body part damage. And if for whatever reason uh, you're ki you end up kiting the enemy, uh, bleeding will prevent them from regenerating their HP. Well, I assume if you're kiting back, it's to regain some HP. So you can make some uh, good use of the bleeding if you somehow apply it from a range or one way or another. There's a very very high chance that whatever the point of interest is it's on the other side of the water, so I will I'll swim to the other side. Yep. Okay, gotta be careful. It's gonna be a whole heck of a lot of bandits. Nice crit, he's bleeding, and he's dead. Losing count, he's not wrong. And it's textbook. Hopefully there's some food here. Oh, there's another. But I'm not gonna die of hunger, so. Aside from maybe taking a few fights that are uh, gonna be. Oh, it's a bastard sword that's too dangerous to be worth anything. Uh, aside from taking a few fights at lower hunger, that might get me a bit hurt. Um, there's nothing wrong with the, me waiting to get back. I'll apply a healing salve to my torso because that's all that's left damaged. Uh, oh, there's a. Oh, there was nothing in the barrel. Damn it. Seriously? I wonder if these guys are bandits, they're uh, really starving to death. Oh, no, I don't want to run into the water. Hey, little buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was clicking on that for like five seconds. And my character just refused to register the fact that I wanted him to leave the map. There's another point of interest. I can always try throwing something at a bird to try to kill it, but I need to get real lucky to kill a bird with like a bottle of beer. Despite the fact that if you uh, properly chucked a beer at a bird, you'd probably be able to cave its head in, because birds are really, really easy to. It's not even that you kill them, it's that like any sort of bludgeoning damage in real life to a bird breaks their bones which um <laughs> means they can't fly so if you successfully hit a bird with like you know a little rock off the ground or like you know a nice uh, nice weighty stick at that bird is just not getting away from you and you can just you know 
kick it if you really wanted that bird that desperately. Let's run around and grab some food to offset my hunger. Since I did decide to make a campfire in the first place. Oh, wolves. But, well, if you walked up to me and then got aggressive to me, don't blame me for... You're getting mad. Alright. Sit and just start to eat. Yeah, not too much, but it'll uh it'll serve me. It's a, it's a boar site. Hmm. It's a wolf trail with two boars next to it. If I um, if I let these dogs aggro to me, I can totally get them to fight these two boars and probably kill the boars. Okay, the wolves are uh, engaging the boars. Okay, uh, one of the boars is dead. I uh, I think the wolves killed the boars. Yeah, uh, more more wolves than I really expected. Oh, just one, seriously. Bye. And dead. And yeah, I'm just going to try to sneak back onto this map to skin the boars for their meats. Oh, nope, they're coming. Oh, lord, they're coming. Okay, this could get me killed, but... I am... I'm dumb enough to do it. I'll play healing sound to myself. Before continuing this, uh... Very stupid endeavor. Oh, the boar's still alive, by the way. Or not, well, one of the boars is still alive. Okay. Okay, that... Dog is still perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull this. Oh no, I can't. Supply some healing cells. I think the other board ran away. They're not bored, I'm both. Where's the other board though? Oh, it must have. The bodies. Oh, nope, it's just down here. Okay. But yeah, I did that mostly for food, just because I wanted some nice eats. I think two wolves ran away, which isn't obviously important at all. Let's pick up my my loot. My bear statue ended up. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. why hunting is nice because uh, yeah that's I mean assuming you can kill a boar assuming you know how to kill a boar either through properly fighting it or uh, doing what I do and just abusing the uh, the way enemies fight each other uh, it's it's a lot of free food and 
And it's even better if you can kill a bear. So you can also, assuming that uh, you have a hunt master, you can also get the bear fat, which is also food and also a, uh, a healing item, I think. Oh god, that, that's another boar. Uh, game makes me have to legitimately fight a boar. If I had one more... If I had rain and blood, I think I would be able to beat a boar. Let's say, um... Oh, my, my tan boots went down under the threshold. This might be the, um, Abandoned Manor. Or Ruined Manor. Uh, I believe this is where you can find the boar head. Uh... Question is, do I feel brave enough to fight the bandits that will spawn? The answer is, uh, I don't feel brave, but I feel stupid. Okay, let's just go up and down. Okay. Who the hell is this smuck? Get him, boys. Okay, do you have... Not really any sort of ability to move closer to me. I was trying to get them... One at a time. Okay, which one of you do I want to kill first? Living Strike, Fencer Stance. I think I want to go for this guy first. Ooh, he bled me. Oh god, fucking damn it. Um, throw this potion of drunkenness at him. Ah, he killed me. Fuck, I really shouldn't have taken that risk. I forgot that uh, he would be a ringleader. I didn't know that he would be that. Alright. Uh, that's what I get for taking risks, but... Eh. So here I am. Yeah, let's Is watch the world so? burn. You uh, you can... Flame barrage and ring of fire. And then move ring of fire and fire barrage out of the way so I don't accidentally use them. Eh, I'm not going to do the request request. It's very little reputation anyways. Still haven't, uh, seen Bran. I think that's what his name was. I'll figure out what I, uh, and then I want to go to staves as well as, uh, yeah, I'll probably staves as well. This is sensible. Ooh, amethyst pendant. I immediately want to do the quest because I want that amethyst. Uh, I don't need anything. A whole, a whole piece of bread, and a Lincoln Mary. Night of the barrel. Hapless peasant. Okay, let's go right to the mill. Because I obviously need more food. Luckily, as long as you don't do anything in range where people can see you, you can just steal whatever. 
As long as you don't obviously don't get caught by guards after the fact. See, I've stolen stuff that guards don't mention it, but uh, there's no guards until I get the mail. And there's nothing anybody can do if they don't see you. I'll probably just do a few press and then call the stream for the day. Right now that I'm... Oh, right, I, uh... i take these off this hotbar and move them. And just have a hotbar for when I... come back to civilization. Sticks would have required. It would require like four times eight. It required like thirty-two sticks. It would require 32 sticks in your inventory to completely surround yourself in, uh, in Campfire Sky, that'd be so silly. How many can you even fit? Um, three... Or no, 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 not three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You'd be able to have, uh, if you filled up your inventory once, place them down in preparation, and then got an entire extra inventory of sticks, you'd be able to uh, have all you need. It'd be, it'd be dumb, but it is doable. It's not reasonable to do it, but. They made campfires work for, um... What is it? Baptism and fire? No. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, baptism and fire. Surrounding tiles give... The surrounding burning tiles or burning enemies give bonuses to damage. With a pyramid spills. He put that fire, put that fire up, damn you. Did anyone else see that? Oh, he's dead. Uh, dead via flame. Let's continue to cut away. Witch, get her! Go ahead, get me, bitch. Oh, I set myself on fucking fire. Hi. Woo. Okay, the second one was literally the only reason I lived. but it is what it is. Okay, I don't need... I need a third water skin. Um... I will drink a little alcohol. <laughs> Fucking bear fat. Bear fat in the cart outside the first dungeon, wow. Impressive. 
Like, actually impressive. <laughs> Holy shit. He stands still for a turn and then retreat. Stand still, set on fire. Dari Haba! Dari Ahab, I'm on fire! Burning, I'm burning! I suppose I'll drink that. Or eat it, as the case may be. This doesn't reduce my chance to cast spells. No, not really. Anari? Question mark? Or Senari? No wonder you, no wonder you screwed up. Dari Ahab. Oh no, I said it already hey, have, and then he talked about being set on freaking fire. Oh, I crit him and he burned to death in front of me. I do love the, uh, the little touches like that. That's awful. The main reason I wanted to uh, use fire magic is to make use out of the various oils and alcohols that I haven't been making use out of at all. I'll rip your guts out. Sure you will. Did he just set himself on fucking fire again? That's rude. Oh god, I, mean, I think somebody, some asshole, must have said like, "Oh, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't use the word bitch in your game. That's a, that's a gender insult." <laughs> God, just imagine the, imagine the devs are just like, actually, what? <laughs> like, a... <laughs> like, uh, imagine having to be like the PR department and being like, uh. So, like, what are we going to do about this? And being like, literally all we can do is just uh, pretend we didn't see it. Because no matter what the response they'd give, somebody's going to be, uh, butthurt. Because what are they going to do? Remove the profanity from the game. To appease, you know, one specific type of person that probably doesn't even play the game. Reasonable certain people can be. And that guy is, or was on fire, I suppose. As the case may be. Do I want to get 15 perception just to have a slight increase in my range? I might. There is definitely an argument to be made. Right, I should step forward then, place the trap. It should suffice. It should. Ooh, perfect. I can uh, reset the trap, walk back out, and then he gets hit by it twice. It's probably enough to kill him. Oh, you actually managed to walk. Oh, whoops. I should have been a bit more careful, but I uh, suppose I didn't need to. Goodbye. He's a filth. Oh, 
Oh, if you're just gonna rub against the wall, I guess I'll kill you. Okay, an empty mug. That's what I always wanted. Hmm. I could have also made use of the oil, but I, I already made use of the bear trap. I didn't really need to do anything else. I should have been a bit more careful, but I uh, ended up not needing to. Alright, let's, uh, let's use this oil. What did you do? So yeah, 35% fire resistance. It has three stacks right now. Uh, does trying to summon a fire consume a stack not especially? Oh, I failed to set the door on fire. Whoops, I need to be more careful of that in the future. Oof. There he goes. Let's, um... You know, I will go up to 15 perception first, just so I have a bit more range, despite the fact that it'll slow down me getting my next spells. I don't know, perception also helps with uh, a lot of these spells. Okay, baptism by fire, or skill reduction cost, based on burning enemies in sight. Or no, 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 when I set people on fire. Um... I think I'll go Baptism Fire just in case I need to step in my own fire to kite. It's especially relevant if I see Crawlers, which... The, the literally only character that I've ever saw a Crawler had it chase after me and got away safely was a... Uh, a Fire Mage. Okay. He gave me some alcohol and some cheese? Who doesn't love some cheese? Cheese for everyone! Where's the... There was no chest. There was no chest in the boss room. I've never seen that. Huh. Oh, there's a trap right here. I have to check the snares. Chase after the arranged bandit. Come on, my friend. A cup. I already got 18 fatigue. Because I don't have the bigger buff up. Ooh. It's dangerous. <laughs> okay, that's that's a bit ridiculous, but it'll be fine. Right, let's merge my two coin purses and throw the other one away. A gold nugget. Oh, there's another drawer that can be pilfered. Hmm. Ready the noose? Got us a witch. Let's uh, set the land around us on fire. Before casting our And I closed the fucking door behind myself. Or not behind myself, in front of myself. Well, that was embarrassing. I'll, I'll live because I got lucky with like two second wins, I think. I almost didn't get lucky. Jesus Christ. Uh, and I don't have any healing items. But I should be fine after just some sit down. Could always just eat the bear fat if I wanted some extra healing, but it's unnecessary. That was a serious blunder. Sure, I'll put that to my offhand. For now, it's probably not worth what it shows. 
It's it's a never work when it shows for equipment. It's always close for other things. Oh no. I uh I did a mistake. Um I was also equipping the wrong items. I deserve to die. Uh, this dungeon should have killed me. Candelabra's junk. Vivifying essence, that is quite quite nice. Wait a second turn after that. Prudence is now, uh, now been activated. Oh, there's the book room. It's an R. Dirty Ahab. And he's dead. Now we'll just wait by this fire. And it's gone. A long journey notes on Ursia. Oh, yeah, the Stele. The, uh. Basically, they honor the dead by. Or they honor the dead warriors by writing stone pyre. Or stone pyres. Like, st basically, just epitaphs. Just imagine feeling it seeing like an entire field of those when I mean, you try to uh breach their capital. You're just like, huh. These aren't the people that have died trying to fight to take this place. This, these are the dead that have died defending this place. That's a that's a lot of these. But yeah, um... Oh, I didn't actually get to um, make a halt. It's a definite oversight. Oh, well, I'm just going back anyways. I say it, oversight. It, I'll also sleep in the end. Hmm. I'll just leave this alcohol where it is. And then try to finish this pile before I get back. Should I be a bit over, uh... Overboard, I probably could have... Saved some of it, but honestly, sell the funeral there. There's some grimly. Oh, do I want to like some stuff for some free healing items and some free reputation? Probably. Just some spearmint, and I can go find fully work. Seeing it's the easiest thing to ever find. I finish up this pie. Throw the rag. Might also end up being just around town. I've definitely seen that happen. Oh, 
I don't have anything still new. I do not good. Okay, let's go bother Odor for our money. Boom, let some more work. Deal. I don't know exactly what I'm dealing with. Yada, yada, yada. Hear anything? Fatal Burry, as usual. I'm just gonna not do it. Oh, everybody's getting the stores ready. I think it's Nicholas. For the experience. I'm gonna buy some extra ID scrolls. Oh, yeah, I started with a, an enchantment. Um, eh. For two, it's not anything major. Don't keep eating after I'm already full. Only the ripest fruit. Okay, speaking of which, give me the pears and the grapes. Hmm. No, you can take the, uh, the valuables that I found. I don't have anything made out of metal that would be damaged right now. Find the elder. What happened to door? About door. out. Could buy a pilgrim staff, which would help against undead, but nah. Oh yeah, I found, uh, found this. That's, that's 55 gold. Hmm. Oh, it's still too expensive. And yeah, my clothes are a bit damaged. I... How we deal with that? I'll leave that sword next to the blacksmith to complete his quest later. And I'll do the same thing with the criminy, just leave it outside the prison to Got a quest to give it to them. Okay. Splint some pain relief, some of these. You know these pairs by themselves. Um I'm just gonna give those pairs some more room. Would like a few more items and a anti venom. Should still have, yeah, only, only fifteen for the night. My character does desperately need sleep. And I guess I will. On the DLC stuff, I'm just gonna throw the other stuff on the ground. He scrolls away. Hmm. Get the stardust on my person just in case I want a little extra oomph. And then sleep until midnight. Forgotten plane and stolen tomb. 
or stolen grimoire. <laughs> it's not even tomb. Or tome, I should say. I see you licking the pillow. What are you doing? It's not like I. It's not like it's bothering me. I'm just wondering why you're doing that. What has been done to that pillow that you're licking? It's apparently some sort of ambush. But where though? Oh, there it is. Hmm. What the? Reset my. Chance to hurt myself. Okay. It's a little prudence. I, I find that sometimes the uh, I don't know. If, I don't even know what's a bug or well, but sometimes you just uh, some of these mental buffs just never go away. The guy did sleep with his buff on, so you'd think it'd be gone by now. There it is. We got a witch. Flames. How about I douse you? Fire out, please. He didn't say please, but I like to think that he would. That he would beg for his life before I killed him. He'll probably go for another hour and then uh, close stream there. God. I I miss my burgundy, or, yeah, my burgundy gloves, or burgundy gloves. I should have been more careful. I don't know if I could have won that fight if I had been more careful. Even more careful, I should say. Hmm. Maybe if I had brought them uh, down, maybe they would have uh, followed me into the, the little hidey hole. Maybe that would have been a way to kill them, but I have no idea. Must still be a bit of uh, the ghoulage over here. Oh, the, I, I was about to say, I saw one out of the corner of my eye. You might just step into the flame. Yeah, you will. And then he runs away. And then comes back, and then he dies. Careful, because if something that's on fire dies, it's the tile gets put on fire. That's the replacement. And he walked out of my room. Whoops. Yeah, maybe should have uh, done that that way, but a little late. Okay, he's dead. a bit excessive for healing, but I'd rather not let myself get injured. I remember. He steps into the fire, which means I have a chance to kill him. Nice. Okay, this sarcophagi might be wraithed, but it wasn't nice. 
It's the best thing about being a mage is that you don't have to worry about wraiths, because they, uh, they don't have much magical resistance. At least not as much as they do fire. Close the door again to promise up some space. Set everything on fire. Actually, I won't have to pick so much, but currently I just have two skills. It's not like I really have any options. Hold this dagger. Oh. Close the door to buy myself some more space. Play the turn. Blast them. And he set the area around me on fire. I set him on fire. That is enough to finish the job. I wonder what would happen if you threw uh, flammable liquid on them while they're already on fire. If that would extend the buff, or if it's better to do it before. Desire to test it. Man, this is way too tame to be worth literally anything to me. Some alcohol for me to use. This lock won't stop me and I can't read. Do you have... You do have impaled punch. You know what? I'll let you use it. Please miss. Yes, thank you. Close this just like stand still for a second. He obviously still gets the ability to strike at me. Oh yeah, I have bandages. I should have used one. I obey. It'd be nice if I found a trap, because I could lead these guys into it. Scenario for the hundredth time. Let's make use of some of this alcohol. Let's check this door. Yes, it's a stupid rat on fire, or not. This might get me killed. Hopefully not. Nope. Okay, we good. Bit risky, but I made it. Okay, pain. I guess I'm not using this for offense. So I have to use it for storing in my body. There we go. The fire to go away. I like how the undead are so smart to uh, not step into the fire. I've seen little bandits run into the fire like it's uh, not even dangerous to them. Almost broken. Can you, can you die? Please, thank you. Hey, where's my perception? Let's uh, grab make a halt. It, it won't really give me more buffs to vigor, but um, it will eventually. Once I get a little further into the tree, into the tree. Oh, she also does get vitality, so. Hmm. That's good. I 
Oh good, that crit, uh, I just saved me. Saved me a bit of damage at least. Drink some water, eat some food. And then eat this cheese. Bring my body to fully heal on its own. I have a pain to worry about. What is... Those are my sanity for a bunch of magical stats. Interesting. Oh, he's right next to me. Please die. There's the pain again. Oh, here's a battle cleaver for one of my quests. will eventually subside. Sand change is a bit, uh, a bit more of a problem as a spellcaster. Because I'm already lowering my own sanity. Let alone doing it passively. Slightly hurt myself. It's useless. Go away or <clears throat> just to find something. Hopefully. This guy is, uh, has decided to step into the plane. Um, what else is being set on fire, dude? Increases skill costs, fumble chance, cooldown duration, spell energy costs, and deals damage. It's getting a turn reduces the duration based on vitality and agility. Almost free. Release me. Sure, my friend, I will, I will release you. Into some of this. I guess I should just use a salve at this point. A salve, I'll use a salve on all my parts. Okay, now seems like a good time to use this. Ooh, that's a, that's a good uh, that's a good thing to set them on fire like that. Turns. Oh, fuck. Please get the hell away from me, both of you. What are you like? Uh, you know what? Let's fire blast you. This is useless. Yeah, I know, game. Please just die already. Okay, well, you don't want it as a weapon, so it's that. Fuck. Uh, try to get rid of that. Damn it, I freaking missed. Okay, please get rid of the necromancer. Oh my god, we lived. Woo! Oh. Yeah, as I start getting some stave skills, I uh, I won't be in that big a dire strike. Um, dagger. It's a really damaged rumble. And I don't intend to. Use those on this run. Can play healing south of that. Just wait for this to stabilize before looting everything.
Having sword might not be too bad. Not oh, surprisingly, no, uh, no rates in either of those. Okay, um, almost done. Might have to worry about Stardust, uh, Stardust Aftermath, I should say. There's no more enemies, though. Yourself. Okay, good, he's gotten lit on fire. Destroy. So close to freedom. I like how I smashed open the coffin. This will curse me. What a dick. Force the rest of this dungeon. Despite the fact that my uh, objective is complete. Release me. He refuses to step into the fire, unfortunately. And then I set a tile on fire rather than the enemy I actually wanted to set on fire. Sorry, friend. Uh, I don't think uh, that blocking is really going to help you against my magic. Especially if I intend to kite you. And he's dead. Mm -hmm. Also, we didn't get an aftermath. I don't know. Start a sh Oh, it's, it doesn't have an aftermath. It just has sanity. That uh, can be a concern. Oh, poor pelt. Um, I'll probably end up picking up that poor pelt. Run, save yourself. Um, how about you save yourself, my friend? to hit something outside of my range as uh, as you do that I'm firing and start running up on this thing I don't know which one of us is better in melee but hopefully it's me good I'm out of healing and I'm also at the next I'm almost at the next pain threshold Bad, but I will get over it. Oh, I, I've had this for pain this entire time. Yeah, it's just ten percent. I'll just tank the uh, immunity loss. But you definitely need to sleep by the time I get back. Oh, oh, there is some money there. Another chest. Sorry, <laughs> keep forgetting where my money, uh, my money pouch is. That's as well. Tiles on fire first. 
and it managed to not count fire. Hmm. Annoying. Ooh, alcohol. Um. Spearmint reduces intoxication, which, you know what? Let's just eat that. Because we do have some intoxication. Some water. There we go, that matter. Intoxication go down a bit faster. So immunity didn't take uh, too much chronical damage. This sets people on fire. Forty-four percent chance, fair enough. Plus them with reduced resistance. So there is a good reason to uh, let them walk into you. I never used my trap. I know I did. Um, I'll just leave it here. Uh, this bandage can go. Should not be risking running into a rape, but I'm ballsy. Hmm. Alright, we can leave. Not too bad a haul, we got vivifying essence. Or we might have gotten that from before, I can't remember. So they've got another Stardust and got two pelts. Get intoxication. It makes me thirsty, which is fine. Let's just take that just in case we get into more combat. I don't want my uh I don't want to become a megalomaniac. Or megalomaniacal or whatever it's called. Except for megalomania. <laughs> Have all my numbers look ridiculous and not really know what the hell's going on. Right, I... Uh, no, I'm not going to. I was going to say I should pick up the uh, resources for one of the quests, but it would take up space that I do not have. Yeah, I think this will be my final, final quest for the stream, and then I'll... Uh... Relax until D and D, because my brain is starting to fry. Because I did start streaming the moment I wake up. I woke up. Bleh. Oh my God, that the great game crash for so long. Uh, for a second there because of uh, the loading screen taking too long. Okay, let's just get a little closer to the world is down. Nobody appears to be awake. Appears to be morning, so should be fine. Oh, everybody, it's oh, it's Buster, relax. It might be evening, so everybody's at the bar, which means it's a good opportunity to, uh, to seek secrets. Or rumors, I should say. Gives a cut of secrets, this is rumors. Encampment. And the panic to whisper, are you out of your mind? Oh, is right there. Find me in the morning if you want to talk. <laughs> I just trolled the shit out of him. Uh... Hey, bear territory, which is useful, so I don't step into it randomly, but not especially useful. Okay, and back to you. Okay. 
so up to him. Uh, no. Um, I just, I just want a room. Yeah, I'll do all the busy work in the line to stream. Or do I want to just... Well, but first of all, let's figure out what this potion does. Potion of elusiveness. I believe that increases the chance I am missed. Do I want to save? If anything. Honestly, nothing. I think I'll sleep until 7 and then just save the game. I will see you guys next time. You can always just watch me uh, playing D&D &D if you really can't get enough. <laughs> Bitch, how? <laughs>